on tap. You can now pull up to a BP4 court and fill up with BP Ultimate Unleaded 102. Here we go, the driver's in. The team are just coming inside now. As I said earlier, if you just joined us, what you're about to see is a red line on the graph, and that was our previous experiment with a 98 octane fuel. So the Porsche was mapped to its standard benchmark mapping for a 98 octane fuel, and the red line you'll see on the graph is our previous experiment at the beginning of the week. What you're about to see now is a live demonstration with the same Porsche, the only difference being a different fuel inside its tank, and that fuel is our very own BP Ultimate 102. The live line you'll see on the graph will be a blue line, and that will be the BP Ultimate 102 line. It does get very noisy, there are earplugs if you want to take advantage of them inside. Vertical axis being horsepower, horizontal axis being revs per minute. Here we go, the red line's about to come up on the screen. That's the 98 octane fuel inside that very same Porsche. And there we go, it makes a maximum brake horsepower in optimum conditions of 397.9. That's 398 brake horsepower. And now the next line you'll see will be a blue line. And that is the live demonstration using the same car, everything the same about it, the only difference being the fuel inside its tank. The BP Ultimate 102 unleaded is now fueling this Porsche GT2. driver just has to get the car to the right temperature. Third gear, 100 miles per hour. You also want to look at the graph in the midsection. That's going to be the peak of the graph. It's the most important part because that's going to be the track racing standard. There should be a difference of around 100 brake horsepower. Car behind the screen, everyone doesn't know, is a Porsche 996 GT2 Mark 1, and it's fueled by BP Ultimate 102 Octane. Here we go. The blue line, 439.6 brake horsepower. That's a staggering increase of 42 brake horsepower already. If you look at the midsection of the graph, like I said earlier, that is the most important part of the graph. If you look at the gap between the red and the blue line in the middle, that's over 110 brake horsepower difference. That's enough extra acceleration and extra torque to completely overtake the same force with an inferior fuel and continue to progress around the track and make progression. Same car, different fuel. As we go into our second test, we're just proving to you that not all fuels are the same. This is a next generation biofuel and it's specifically designed for high performance vehicles, supercars and tuned engines. Here we go, the blue line is what we're looking at, the live demonstration. 436.4 brake horsepower. So that's an increase of 38 brake horsepower at the wheels. And again, in the midsection of the graph, an increase of about 100, 105 brake horsepower. Here we go, the last demonstration. Stick around after this demonstration because we're very, very lucky to have Jim Cronin who's actually designed the fuel and he's gonna to talk to you a little bit about the science behind the fuel and what achievements you can expect to get by putting it inside your car. Here we go for our last demonstration. The red line, if you just joined us, is a 98 Ron Octane fuel that in the, inside that Porsche we did at the beginning of the week. 397.9 brake horsepower. The blue line now is the live demonstration with 102. 434.7 brake horsepower at the wheels. So that's an increase of 36, 37 brake horsepower. So we've got an average.